Come on, fish, with Latin in your have some fun. Cast a fly in Alaska on the wall you con or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the beautiful Bitterroot River in Montana. Unfortunately, Steve won't be here today, but we're fishing with good friend Larry Hardy. We're expecting to have a great show. There's some fantastic fishing here. Stick around. The perfect situation would be to turn on my GoPro and have a fish hit it immediately. Which, oh, a log. We got a riffle coming in up here and just let it feed through that riffle. Try to get it as close to that log as possible. It starts to shallow up right at the end of this, so nothing there. And then it's just a matter of being as careful as you can not to crash into a log with your fly and lose a fly. Come on, baby. When you're nymphing, you make that cast. Fish on. Sweet. It's morning here on the Bitterroot and our forecast today was mostly cloudy. So we get patches of sun, but uh, the clouds are probably helping us out and uh, got a nice hit right off the bat. All right. So we, ooh, he's trying to get back to the logs. In this particular spot, there's a big log that runs right along the edge and I knew there might be fish holding underneath of it. So I was trying to get my flies as close as I could with the nymph rig, that's a little tough. Uh, and when I was able to do that, that's when that fish hit right from under that log. And then keeping him out of there was, was also important. So I had to keep the tension on him. It's a good one. It's nice. It is a good, uh, yeah, it's a good one. Nice, Larry. Looks like a cutty. Whoo, that's a pig. That is a big fish. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh Latin. boy. <laughs> that is a truck. So we got this nice little, uh, not little, that's a good sized uh, fish right there. Caught it right off the edge of this log in this tiny little run. What a beautiful bow. That is a great way to get rolling. I mean, it's kind of, it's still a little early in the morning. We don't expect them to necessarily start hitting until the afternoon, but there's this nice little run right through here with a log. Just decided to nymph it on the way by. It really is only a one person spot. And I just let it get down there by that log and it took it from right underneath that log there. Fight was on, great fish. We fished this little slot right here on our way up. Aladdin spotted it and thought we should give it a try. So came across and just fished through there, probably four drifts in and a nice rainbow hit that thing. Beautiful colors, everything. The setup we have is a uh, little Pat's rubber legs, kind of a tan color. And then a, a flashback pheasant tail nymph, probably a size 16 or 18. And that was magic. Fish on. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that worked out too well. Too well, unbelievable. This is a sweet fish. I hope we can get him in the net here. He's nice and cooperating right now, coming over to the, geez, that is a big fish. My goodness, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like another rainbow in the net. Wow, that is a big fish. That fish, I don't know if you can see it, he's as long as this net is, and that's probably 20 inches at least. Look at this rainbow. My goodness, that is a truck. Nice bitterroot rainbow, that is a beautiful fish. Wow. This nice cold water, just 
this is a spot. I didn't realize this would be this good right off the bat, and it is. So fantastic. That was a, was a good sized fish. That's a little blue wing right there, blue winged olive. And we have some of those. And hopefully later today, we're going to start using a few of those. Larry and I are moving upstream here. Got off to a great start. Larry hooked some and landed some beautiful fish. Now we're going to see what other pools and ripples we can find. Coming in today, we uh, ran across some landowners. One owned land on one side of the bridge, one owned land on the other. The comment they made to us was, thank you for being legal. And uh, what they meant was, try to stay below that, that high water mark. Or not even try, do it. Because, uh, you know, you don't want to lose any privileges that you might get. Montana is great for its uh, ability to go up and down the river without worrying about trespassing. But don't trespass is a, the idea. And I, I actually appreciated that they talked to us about that. Watch out for that barbed wire. Yep. This isn't going to be good, Larry. What's that? Lost everything. You did? Yeah. Well, you're just in time. I just got this one tied up. I think I might throw a couple dries through there and call it good right there. Okay. I would go straight out. Yeah, That's where, where I saw the it? rise. Right what, straight right out at that first tree. The tree that's in the water or the one no, that's... No, the one that's, that's on the bank. The one that's... The, the big one that's broken? See the, see the broken one? Yeah. The one to the right of it. Okay. Oh, perfect. I'll Those try three. that. Boy, I see a bunch of blue wings potted up right there, though. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, about 20 of them. So I could see why it rose right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good spot, Larry. Larry spotted a fish rising over here. And I made a few casts in there and uh, fish porpoised on it. It seems like a pretty good fish. I got a, a glimpse of it. It seemed like it was pretty nice. Nice one, Ladin. A good spot with that rise. Just kind of stalemating right here. Oh, it's a nice one. Keep them going upstream. Oh, beautiful, beautiful big bow. Awesome, on the dry fly, fantastic. Wow. Oh man, what a fish right here. Look at that, gorgeous. Big bow. Oh, There's a little pocket over there against that bank. And Larry saw a fish rise. When I got out there, I noticed there's a bunch of blue winged olives just kind of swirling in that area. So I put it just right on the edge of that inside current by the bank, and that fish came up and just hammered it. It was a fantastic bite. We've been catching fish on similar setups, but this is the one that uh, Ladin caught that big fish on. It's got this squala up top, and then this little blue winged olive right down below. And what a fantastic fish that was that he caught. This has just been a fantastic day on the bigger bigger route. This has just been a fantastic day on the bitter route. The fishing has been phenomenal. I mean the Bitterroot River is one of the many reasons why Montana is a famous place to fish. If you've never had a chance to come here, it's pretty awesome. Oh yeah got one. You got it. Yeah, I think that might have been the big rise. 
Oh, I gotta keep them out of those sticks. They're trying like crazy. Get in there. Oh, barely got them out of the sticks, Larry. Try to get them downstream a little bit. Kept them out of the sticks, that's good. Might be a brown. I think I've been bamboozled a little bit. Ladin and I are headed out and he goes, well, we got that gear down there. I, I'm just gonna go try this little hole real quick right here. And I go, yeah, I'll, I'll get the gear. Next thing I know, Aladdin's hauling in a big brown trout over there. It's a brown trout. Oh, it's a gorgeous brown trout. <laughs> wow, awesome. This is amazing brown trout. Right here, look at that guy. <laughs> oh, okay, got me wet. <laughs> That was a lot of fun though. I fished right up against this log. If you could see this little log right here, it's, uh, there's a foam line that goes right by it. And that thing, I saw a big rise right out of this little section. And it just came up a few casts later and pounded that thing. Beautiful brown trout. Great way to cap off the day. Awesome.